our church construction plan. But first of all, let me show you the design of our new church. This one is from the left front side view. This one is from the left side view. This one is from the front right side view. And this one is from the right side view. So this is our front building. And in the front building, there will consist two floors. This is the first floor and then the second floor. In the first floor, there will be two rooms. This is the first room and then this is the second room. And in the second floor, there will be the third room. On the upper of the third room, there will be a roof. And then the roof here will divide the third room and the second room. And there will be a base floor here. And our congregation has finished built the base floor. So this is the base floor. This is the construction progress for today. On April, our congregation will build the second base floor and the rooftop. We will also build the poles, two at the front and two at the back. If the fund is sufficient, our congregation will continue to build the walls. But if not, it's going to be your Australian team's part to build this. If our congregation able to build the walls and the towers, your team's part will be wall plastering, wall rendering, and painting the front building. In addition, your team will also wall rendering and paint the outside wall of the church. The front, the left, the back, and the right side of the church. The next part that the congregation and our Australian teams are going to do is to build the drop-off point. This is the drop-off point that we are going to build together. To enter the front building, we will build stairs. From the right stairs, we'll start there, there, and connect to the center. And so with the left stairs, we'll start there, to that side, and connect to the center. Here, we will build poles to prop up the stairs, and at the center, we will build the door to enter the front building. This part will be conducted by the congregation. Another part to be done is to install an electricity to our church because until now, we still use a temporary installation. These are our temporal installation. So the last part that we are going to build together is the parking lot. As you can see here, this is the gutter. And we will cover it to become like this. So the car can directly park to the parking lot. Originally, there is gutter in this line. But we will cover it so the car can park directly to the parking lot, just like this. And as I mentioned before, that we will build this together, the congregation and the Australian team. In short, these are the construction part that need to be done by the builder team and Warukapas Church. First, building wall, plastering, and painting the front side. Second, plastering and painting the outside church building. Third, making drop-off point. Fourth, install electricity and lamps. And last, covering the gutter so vehicles can park directly. So, it has been our church construction plan. May our God in heaven help and bless our plan to finish this church. God bless.